Hey everyone, and today I'll be covering how to use a VPN for gaming, including the most common reasons people turn to one, the best VPNs for the job, and some practical tips on getting the best performance possible. So when it comes to gaming, a VPN can actually do quite a bit more than just protect your privacy. For example, you can use it to unlock access to games, DLCs, and early releases that might not be available in your region. You can even take advantage of regional discounts when buying new titles. Another big reason is performance. By using a VPN, you can sometimes lower your ping by connecting to servers that are closer to the game's servers, and it can also help you avoid bandwidth throttling from your ISP. That can mean smoother gameplay overall. Now, some gamers also like to use a VPN to connect to less crowded servers. This can make it easier to find lobbies, and in certain cases, it might even help you land in easier matches compared to your normal region. And finally, there's the added layer of privacy and security. A VPN can help protect you against DDoS attacks or hackers trying to interfere with your connection, which unfortunately is something that can happen, especially in competitive play. So which VPNs work best for gaming? Well, three stand out, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. These are consistently the most reliable when it comes to speed, server variety, and stability. ExpressVPN is known for its ease of use and fast connections, making it a really strong choice if you just want something that works every time without much setup. NordVPN is a very well-rounded option with the largest server network and some advanced features that can give you a little more control over your connection. And Surfshark is the most budget-friendly pick while still offering great speeds and unlimited device connections, which is a huge plus if you want to cover all your devices under one account. And just a quick note, if you want to check out any of these VPNs, I'll have links in the description with discount codes so you can get the best deal possible. Now you might be wondering whether a free VPN could get the job done. The reality is that free VPNs usually come with some pretty big limitations. For one, you'll often get slower speeds and a much less stable connection, which isn't ideal for gaming. On top of that, free VPNs tend to have a very limited number of servers, so you'll quickly run into crowded networks that just make the experience worse. Another issue is data caps. A lot of free VPNs will stop working once you hit a certain usage limit, which can happen fast if you're downloading updates or playing regularly. And that's not to mention the security risks. Some free VPNs make their money by collecting and selling user data. So if you're serious about gaming, I'd strongly recommend sticking with a paid option like Express, Nord, or Surfshark. They'll give you the performance and stability you need without the frustration that comes with free alternatives. Now when it comes to getting the best speed and connection quality out of your VPN, the protocol you use can make a big difference. Each of the top VPNs I mentioned has its own best option for gaming. With ExpressVPN you'll want to go into Options, then Protocols, and select Lightway UDP or WireGuard. Both the protocols are pretty fast, but Lightway has generally come out as the fastest and most reliable protocol, designed specifically for speed and stability. With NordVPN, head into settings, then manage VPN connection, and under VPN protocol select Nord links. This protocol is also based on WireGuard and is usually the best balance of security and performance for gamers. And with Surfshark, open settings, then VPN settings, and select WireGuard. Again, this is generally the fastest choice for gaming, and it keeps your connection both smooth and secure. So choosing the right protocol is a small step, but it can really help squeeze out better ping times and a more stable overall experience. Now looking at server coverage, this is where each VPN has a slightly different strength. ExpressVPN currently has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, which gives you a large global reach. NordVPN has the largest server count and coverage with more than 7,800 servers in over 160 countries. And Surfshark sits somewhere in between with 3,200 servers across 100 countries. Now, once you've picked your VPN, actually connecting to a server is really straightforward. Just open the app, click on the location list, and select the country or server you want. From that point forward, your games will detect you as if you were physically in that location. For example, if you connect to a server in London, your game will see your location as the United Kingdom. This can be useful not only for accessing region-specific releases, but also for joining friends in different regions without running into restrictions. And when it comes to improving ping or reducing lag, a good strategy is to connect to a VPN server that's physically close to the game's official servers. Many big titles like Fortnite have public server maps, so you can look up where the closest ones are. For instance, let's say you're in Russia, but the nearest Fortnite servers are in South Korea. By using your VPN to connect through South Korea, you could potentially get a much better ping than if you stayed on your default route. It's also worth testing a few different servers because sometimes the closest one isn't actually the fastest. A quick trial and error approach can help you find the most stable option for your setup. And then there's another strategy some players use, which is connecting to regions where a game is less popular or where the time zone means fewer people are online. For example, in Warzone, connecting at off 
peak hours to certain regions can give you lobbies that are easier to play in. Sometimes this can even reduce the impact of skill-based matchmaking, making it feel less strict. Of course, results can vary depending on the game, but it's definitely something to experiment with if you're looking for a more relaxed experience. Now, another interesting use case for a VPN in gaming is with Steam. Steam pricing can vary a lot between regions, and sometimes new releases are available earlier in certain countries. By using a VPN, you can take advantage of these regional differences. So there are two main methods. The first, and usually easiest, is to create a brand new Steam account while connected to a VPN in the region you want. For example, if a game is cheaper or available earlier in the US, you'd connect to a US server, sign up with a new account, and then use a valid payment method that works with that account. This method is especially useful if you don't have a local payment option from that region. The second method is to stay on your existing account, connect to a VPN server in the region you want, and then purchase directly. But here your payment method usually needs to match the region you're buying from. So unless you already have a local card or payment setup, this option is more restrictive. Either way, the key is to make sure your VPN is strong enough to avoid issues like Steam's capture loops, which can sometimes happen with weaker VPNs. Express, Nord, and Surfshark all work well here and tend to avoid those problems. It's also a good idea to clear your browser cache and DNS cache before setting up a new Steam account, and then in Steam settings, change your download region to match the VPN server you're connected to. That way, everything stays consistent and you're less likely to run into problems. So hopefully you found this guide helpful in understanding how to use a VPN for gaming. If you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments below since I love getting to answer as many as I can. And of course, if you want to check out ExpressVPN, NordVPN, or Surfshark, I'll have discount links and full reviews down in the description. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.